were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 moments that were mistakenly uncensored in WWE. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Shaniqua's profanity-filled rant. Now, believe it or not, SmackDown has been a PG product since the show debuted way back in 1999. However, during the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era, WWE were able to push the limits of just how far a PG product could go. Although that is true, the product still had to fall in line with a PG presentation, meaning that anything too obscene would land WWE in some serious hot water. They also had the advantage of taping SmackDown, meaning that if anything was too obscene, they could easily edit it out. Well, that's if they remembered. In 2003, WWE aired a post-match segment containing WWE manager Shaniqua. In this post-match segment, she would ridicule the Basham brothers and her rant was filled with profanity that somehow wasn't even censored. How on earth WWE allowed this to air was unknown, but it no doubt led to them receiving a lot of backlash from key stakeholders. Number 9. The Cat Exposes Herself a gimmick matches involving the women during the Attitude Era usually involved them removing clothing from one another. Take for instance at the 1999 Armageddon pay-per-view. Miss Kitty, BB, Ivory and Jacqueline competed in an evening gown pool match for the women's title. Once Miss Kitty was victorious, she revealed her top half to the audience. Now this moment should have been censored, but WWE were far too late on the censorship. The replay of the pay-per-view, as well as the VHS, DVD, and WWE Network version of the pay-per-view would actually censor it, meaning that WWE were quick to rectify their potentially damaging mistake. Number 8. Fred Durst Flips the Finger Fred Durst previously had a fantastic relationship with WWE, but that was until the 2012 SummerSlam pay-per-view where he decided to flip the bird when he appeared on camera. Now This wasn't allowed on a PG product, and WWE quickly panned away from him. It was reported that WWE was so annoyed with Durst that they actually had him removed from the arena. The anger was mainly from Kevin Dunn, who quote-unquote blew a gasket in the production truck at Durst's actions. It was entirely possible that Durst wasn't aware that he was unable to do gestures of this nature. If the show had taken place a decade prior, it probably would have been permitted. But he must have missed the memo relating to WWE's PG guidelines. Number 7. AJ Styles' backside makes a wild appearance now, the main event of the TLC pay-per-view in 2016 featured AJ Styles taking on Dean Ambrose for the WWE title. The match was well received by fans, but it's mostly known for an attire malfunction which resulted in AJ tearing the fabric on the back of his tights. This occurred when AJ performed an aerial maneuver and WWE panicked and realized it would be extremely hard to censor that part of AJ's body for the entire match. But instead of opting to censor his lower half, WWE decided to attempt to shoot around the body part and Vince McMahon ordered the camera crew to try and not show AJ's rear end. Well, the issue was that this was a TLC match, an incredibly fast moving match, meaning the WWE camera crew struggled to hide the exposed body part. Number 6. Silver Spoon Mother Now one of the highlights of the Attitude Era were the promo segments featuring The Rock. The Great One managed to deliver meaningful promos which were filled with humour and wit which are all still cited to this very day. But one of the more infamous promos of his career took place during the Invasion storyline. The Rock and Chris Jericho were having a rhyming contest as Stephanie McMahon, Booker T and Rhino were in the ring. The Rock would state, Booker T and Shane, the punk ass sucker and the silver spoon mother bugger. But WWE completely forgot to censor The Rock's curse word, mainly because The Rock was never supposed to say the word at all. The initial script for the segment called for The Rock to be cut off by Stephanie McMahon just as he was about to say it. Unfortunately, Stephanie missed her cue, resulting in The Rock being forced to say the obscene word on live television. Number 5. Kofi Kingston Flips the Bird now, The WWE title reign that Kofi Kingston embarked on in 2019 was a mixed bag. Whilst the matches he had during his reign were decent, it was clear that WWE didn't quite see Kofi as a main event attraction. One of the feuds Kofi had during his reign was with Samoa Joe, and the two actually had some memorable segments. One segment in particular involved Kofi flipping the bird in response to Joe's suggestion that the two rivals should shake hands. Now This was a planned spot and had full approval from Vince McMahon, but Vince insisted that the camera crew shoot around his gesture, but on the live broadcast, they did a rather awkward shot, meaning that for a brief second, Kofi flipping the bird was on full view for the entire world to see. Number 4. Scott Steiner's WWE Return in 2002 
When Scott Steiner made his WWE return at the 2002 Survivor Series pay-per-view, he blew the roof off of Madison Square Garden. However, Steiner would also shout out a line of profanity towards the end of his return, which was completely unexpected and consequently wasn't censored out on the live broadcast. He would shout, <laughs> Steiner clearly didn't care about the censorship or anything of that nature, and this would seemingly be a thing throughout his wrestling career. On the WWE Network version of the pay-per-view, Steiner's line is completely edited out, which is probably for the best. Number 3. Bret Hart Snaps On the go-home edition of Raw Before WrestleMania 13, Bret Hart cut the most memorable promo of his career. It was a profanity-filled rant directed towards Vince McMahon. In the promo, Bret would state, Frustrated isn't a goddamn word for it. This is bullshit. You screwed me, everybody screwed me, and nobody does a goddamn thing about it. Nobody in the building cares. Nobody in the dressing room cares. So much goddamn injustice around here. I've had it up to here. Everybody knows it. I know it. Everybody knows it. I should be the World Wrestling Federation champion. Everybody just keeps turning a blind eye. You keep turning a blind eye to it. I've got that gorilla monsoon. He turns a blind eye to it. Everybody in that goddamn dressing room knows I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And if you don't like it, tough sh**. Now whilst it might seem tame now, nothing of this nature had ever been done in WWE before and it's often cited as the unofficial start of the Attitude Era. Although the promo was game changing and fans never heard curse words in a wrestling promo before, the USA Network weren't pleased with the WWE allowing the promo to take place. The USA Network insisted that a 7 second tape delay should be implemented on Raw and this is actually still in place to this very day. Brett's infamous promo truly changed how WWE's live programming was presented and regulated. Number 2. Chris Benoit's name appears on WWE programming Since Chris Benoit's heinous actions in 2007, WWE have made it their mission to never promote or glorify the work of Benoit ever again. This has meant that he's been virtually erased from history. However, on WWE 24 in 2016, his name could be seen on a whiteboard backstage. The WWE 24 segment focused on the story of Trish Stratus and Lita main eventing Raw in 2004 and fans could see Benoit's name on the whiteboard. This was clearly an editing mistake and should have been censored. That's if WWE were still following their own practices in relation to Benoit's name and likeness, which they were at the time of the episode airing. And number 1, Eddie Guerrero curses live on pay-per-view. On one of the top matches on the SummerSlam 2005 match card was a final pay-per-view encounter between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. The two legends would wrestle in a ladder match for the custody of Dominic Mysterio, a bizarre match stipulation that will likely never be replicated. Now, there was a planned spot in the match which was to see Vicky Guerrero interfere and stop Eddie from winning the match. However, when the spot was about to be performed, Vicky was nowhere to be seen. Vicky had missed her cue and this forced Eddie and Ray to improvise. Eddie was furious that Vicky was nowhere to be seen and he could be audibly heard saying and this was fully picked up on camera and wasn't censored in the slightest. Eventually Vicky appeared and the match was able to continue as originally planned. But there you have it folks, 10 moments that were mistakenly uncensored in WWE. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.